Hey, hey, Don, how are you doing? Um, look, we'll just run you through it real fast how ours is set up. I just was <coughs> just talking to Mike, and uh, our uh, poles are 12 feet wide. Uh, come, come up here. Uh, take a picture. They're fairly thin-walled steel. You can see here, thin-walled steel. An eye that's bolted down through. We have our uh, aircraft cable and uh, a the protector where it goes through the eye, and then everything, every uh, one we have is double uh, double cleated. Now the cables that run up, as you can see, is actually, and it comes to this spot right here, which I'll bring down. Oh. So this is actually, uh, uh, there's, this, this, this cable does not end here. So this is, the cable starts, goes up through the sheaves or pulleys, and these are the only two ends of the uh, pulley for this particular rod. So rather than bringing two separate, uh, two separate runs up, we built it so that it's just one continuous wire and we just, uh, balanced it up and then clamped off this and then put our clamps on here, okay? This here is the, uh, I think this is the kind of, of uh, winch you're looking at. We tack welded it to a, um, a base, uh, could probably be bolted to a base, and then uh, we put some really good anchors in the uh, concrete to hold it. Um, this here uh, we built Again, concrete for this this uh, quality uh, uh, pulley. Uh, the one thing that this needs yet and will be done shortly is a hoop uh, bolted to the ground, a just a steel rod hoop. A U. It'll be bolted there so that this should fail. It, it will catch on that hoop so that you know a whole rod wouldn't come down on top of anyone. Um, we have it. I'm just going to show, uh, as the, uh, if you watch this here, uh, the, our anchoring process is uh, uh, sorry, it's, and these strong arm winches aren't very fast, but they work great. By now, I have our control. We <clears throat> these winches come with the up down uh, or in out on mounted on the side of the uh, of the actual winch. We moved it because we wanted to have our lift point outside the range of the poles. We uh, just extended some wire down there and wired it up. I'm sure you can figure it out so that our as we are lifting or lowering something, we're outside the range of the poles. Just a safety feature. So, <clears throat> we bring it down. We have, we have this hook uh, that we made here, or uh, eye if you like. It's just welded steel rod, our chain, and our hooks here. Oh. Oh. Um, How it works. So again, we don't want it as we're as we're taking some something off of there. We don't want to. We don't want to be under. So we come back out, and you'll see. I've just hooked to that one, and it's just if you go under and just show how it drops off. Okay, so uh, not much else. I know you've built a structure um, to the floor, which we did as well. Uh, those are bolted to a to the wall. These these rods here, they go up to an L bracket frame, which I'm not sure. Those 
are bolted to that concrete wall. Uh, and here uh, we've got legs at this side uh, to the floor. That's a square tube, inch and a half tube. And uh, we have it into the joists, uh, which I think you do just to, for lateral stabilization. We have two, two sheaves at that end, one at the following end. And the other safety feature that has to be done here is uh, a, a catch rope up there that will, um, uh, should any, uh, on any of those sheaves break, there's a chain that go just hang just underneath where the wire uh, runs and it'll go for the whole width of the structure. So should a, um, so should a sheave break, uh, there's a place for the cable to catch. So uh, that's pretty much the operation of it. If you have any questions, give us a call and uh, uh, go get lots of rugs. Okay, take care. Bye.